I found myself judging people on their bodies and, uh, you know, just body types, you know. Um, weird, like, how fast my mind judges it, you know. Uh, anytime, it's just automatic. Like, I walk into a room and my mind puts people into categories. Like, these are the good-looking people. These are the average-looking people. These are the fat people. Like, it tries to categorize everything. And these are the cute girls. Uh, you know, I can't go that way because I don't want to talk to them. Like, they scare me. These are the okay average women, you know. And I don't like the category. You know, I don't like any of it. Um, it tends to happen, and uh, and what do you I'm do with things that you don't like? Um, come over there and say you you want uh, you want a different experience. Yeah, but that's that's a big that's a, and that's a big one. If there's something that you don't like, you can still you can find you can still find love in things that you don't like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't well, mean you that, yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean that you want to go and do it again mm -hmm. if you fuck a fat chick <laughs> it might not have been a pleasant experience mm -hmm. or it might have been it might so it might not have been for this person say it might not have been a pleasant experience so sure you want to experience something else but you still need to learn to accept and love every single thing you experience True. Good or bad, happy or sad, mm -hmm. big or small, lo lo accept, love, and fucking own the experience mm -hmm. that you have. Yeah. Sure, you might choose to have another, a different type of experience next time. You might choose to take a different road. You might choose to go to a different uh, destination. But you still need to learn to find that acceptance and love and, and own your decision to be there because you fucking did it. You made the fucking choice to be there to own it. Mm -hmm. The problem is that so many of us, so many people go through life going from place to place to place, doing this to that, doing this to that, always wishing to be somewhere else, always bitching and complaining about it not being what they expected it to be. When in, in, in the realm of truly living, doesn't matter where you go, what you do, you, you know, and I, one thing I kind of came up this week for me was one statement I always used to say was, it doesn't matter where the fuck I go. I mean, you could put me in a padded room. I'm going to have fun there. I'm going to, yeah. you know, you put me in a small, little, like little padded room. I'm just going to, I mean, I'll, I'll amuse myself. I mean, I'll laugh at my own jokes for fucking days. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and it's really interesting because they did, they've done some recent studies about that. And, like that's like the worst thing that, a, that to do to a human being is to put them in solitary confinement. Oh. That is the worst punishment to put them into a room with nothing. But no, it's not. It's actually a beautiful place to be mm -hmm. if you're present. Yeah, it's a it is the worst place for your ego, mm -hmm. right? But here's sure. the thing: if if you if you were never exposed to cars, houses, women other human beings and you grew up in this padded room you would find amusement in it you would find a way to adapt to it and you'd occupy your you'd learn to occupy yeah. yourself you'd accept it you didn't that you would know anything else <laughs> oh, that's what these uh, ashrams you know you know what i mean by ashram it's like a monastery mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. uh, that's what like Sadhguru was saying they do like they they would put you in a room for uh, 3 days or something Ooh, white sure. room, like, mm -hmm. with white paint and you don't do anything. You don't go to sleep. You just sit. Yeah. And you don't know if it's day or night. He's like, when you come out of it, you'll know exactly what purpose of your life is, mm -hmm. and you'll be charged up, like to go. Mm -hmm. 
It's like it's almost like battery charging. He was saying. Well, the interesting, yeah, but but, but the interesting thing about Sadhguru is the purpose of life is just to be here. There yeah. is no purpose. <laughs> yeah, like the God, God, no, like, like there is no purpose. Yeah, question, mm-hmm. like there was a person that asked him question, "What's the purpose of life?" You know, and he was like, "This is what you need to do. You need to go in a room and sit there, not doing anything." For yep. three days, and you'll you'll know exactly what what I mean. Well, it's basically like the it's kind of very similar, actually, to the homeless thing because you you strip yourself naked of everything that you attach yourself mm-hmm. to. That's basically what being homeless is like. Yeah. You have nothing. It's just you, your your mind, the ego, and your true the, the, your body and your true self. Hey buddy, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm posting videos more frequently now, so if you feel you got some value out of that and would like to check out some of my other stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and don't forget to click on that little bell icon on your screen so you can get a notification the next time I post a video. Also, if you'd like more information on how to attract women naturally using the laws of attraction, be sure to check out my six-step manifestation series below in the description. For a limited time, I'm giving it away absolutely free. Inside, I'll show you the exact six steps that I personally use to attract women to me over the last 20 years.